So this week's comment corner comes from Cameron Butler. God! All right, so what do I think is happening with Sasuke? Why keep him away? Why train in private? What are they doing with him? Why keep him off screen for this amount of time? Now, I like the twist that we thought, you know, they tricked us into thinking that Lee was Sasuke walking in, you know. That was a great twist. That, that was very well done. But that aside, nobody believed he wasn't going to show up when they did the two extensions, especially when he's talking about Ted Warman. It's clearly the guy had an inside track. He was somehow tracking him. He knew what was going on. He had inside information somehow. Ten minutes is a very specific amount of time. And he, he showed up right in, within that ten minutes. So, and plus, the story is just wasting our time if he doesn't show up. Why postpone it? You just disqualify him earlier in the, you know, a few episodes ago, before the other matches. You would just disqualify him. Or they would just have his match take place at the end. I mean, the writers can do whatever they want. The writers could have put his match at the end, be the last match of the day, and then... When we get to that, he doesn't show up and he's disqualified if you wanted to wait till later to disqualify him. You wouldn't have had him be second, have him not show up, have him postpone it, have the other shenanigans happen, and then he still ain't there and then waiting on 10 minutes. Like, none of that happens if he never shows up. So nobody believed he was, he was not going to show up. But they did that. They're doing that to a purpose. They're keeping him off camera to a purpose. I just can't put my finger on why. What is the point? I mean, he's been off screen for so long. I can't remember what episode was the last episode we saw him in. But it's been a long time, man. I want to say, like, we're, we're going to do episode 66. I wouldn't be shocked if it's been 25, 30 episodes since we've seen him. 25 at least, right? Because we had the fights that happened after he was injured and hospitalized. Then we had, you know, that we finished the, the, the preliminaries, and that was quite a few episodes. Then we had the training. There was, seven, there was a seven-episode span between the two, uh, the preliminaries and the, uh, this actual tournament. And then we've had all these episodes in this tournament. A lot has happened, man. It's like, that's been a long time. If it's been 25 episodes, that's a third of the episodes we've already seen. It's been so long. I, I, hadn't, I switched over to the dub quite a while ago. This is the first, last episode was the first time I heard his voice. So what are they doing? What is the point? And I don't know. Like, I even took time off between episodes. I still I can't think of it. I'm at a loss. I don't know why you do that. It's very rare you get me at a loss. I've been writing for 30 years. I know all the tricks. I know all the gamuts. I know why you do things. If it was live action, the only conclusion would be actor availability. He just wasn't around. He got a, He was greenlit for a pilot or something, or he's doing a movie. MCU called and it was too big a paycheck to pass up, but that's not the case. And I assume this is being taken from the manga, or they were people be calling this filler or something. So I don't know what the hell's going on. Can't figure it out. So let's just go ahead and get into it. But this is a, a very intriguing mystery, is my point. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm very intrigued. I don't know what they're doing with this. All right, you know where we are? This is episode 66, and we're going on one. Three, two, one. Yeah, this guy's really excited. Very, very excited. Look at all the, the, the garbage underneath uh, Snack Boy. Dude, pick up your trash. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Kakashi. It's easier to learn these names in English. Yeah, you, you. That's right. I guess I knew, used to know you. I'm a dick, you know. 
So, I'm that kind of an asshole. <laughs> I love the hater slash hype girl friend slash frenemy. I, uh, what's her name? Iona or something? She's great, man. She's always sniping from the sidelines, you know. <laughs> I liked when she was standing up celebrating. He's not there. Oh, okay. What's your point? <laughs> he literally doesn't give a shit. Look at him. He does not care. Hey, you're not keeping me in the loop. Some friend of me you are. Okay. Cool. Good talk. So you're going to find a seat, man? There's people back there. You're blocking their view. There's a reason why people don't stand in the, in the stairs and watch the game. You know, sit your ass down. Yep. Hey, that's too many. We got some infiltrators. Uh-huh. Some of them are undercover. They're not wearing the mask. Right. Down in front. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't think the sparkly tooth is necessary. I just don't. <laughs> This is a grown ass man. You're in a position of authority over children and you have the emotional complexity of a turnip. Just saying. I like that his gourd is just constantly cracked, right? Well, I guess it's always been cracked, but this an aesthetic I really like. Somebody say go. You know, the stadium seats are not very comfortable. <laughs> That's right. Drag it out, you bastards. Drag it all the way to the commercial break we're about to have. You better run out of the way, by the way. Boy, you see how fast that uh, referee dipped? I love the back jump, by the way. What? <laughs> this dude's got problems, man. He's geeking himself up. When we uh, used to work out at the weight pile, there'd be guys who geek themselves up. they scream at each other, argue, bicker. One guy used to cuss out his dad who wasn't present while he was lifting the heavy weights. Right? This reminds me of that. Half the guys I worked out with were nuts. Hey, you can't concentrate. 
I guess I'm going to be able to kick your ass in. His voiceover actor is incredible, man. He conveys so much with just breathing. Yeah. I'm waiting on your ass. What do you mean, come on? So you guys ain't going to watch the game? What's up? You do, you two keep running into each other, don't you? I guess, I had forgotten about this. I guess this is why they said if they were in the hallway, they would be taken out too. He's already got beef with them. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Well, now you changed your mind about that, what I just said. Okay, gotcha. Dude, you got major problems. <laughs> Don't take it personally, man. He just doesn't want to kill you, man. People aren't always in the mood to kill you. It's okay. Hey, man. It sounds like a private thing. <laughs> That's a great shot right there. I love that shot. That's how you make people... You put the camera up here, man. That's how you make people look creepy. Nice sandcastle. Can we get to fighting? <laughs> I just... I can't tell you how much I love the fact they have trees in this battle arena. I don't think it's because they want to be one with nature. Oh, look at that, man. Nice. I don't waste my time fighting clones. Hey, kick that clone's ass. Look at that. Uh-oh. No, the clone got you. Okay, you got the clone. I was right the first time. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, shit. Yeah, he is. He's learned to be fast. He learned Lee's uh, technique. Man, they're growing full ham on this soundtrack, man. It's good shit. It's got an 80s vibe to it, which this whole series has an 80s vibe to it. I know it's made in 2000, but it feels like the people who made this grew up on 80s action movies. Right down to the aesthetic, the music, the lore. This is a throwback series. You're weak. I was again, that's a Bruce Lee thing, right? Maybe other people did it before him, but yeah, that's what he's the one to popularize that. I like how the dog changes shoulders. <laughs> yeah, he does not like you. F that bitch ass. <laughs> I'm going to have to kill you and your dog. Uh-oh. He's going to kill you. That's right. Talk to the hand. <laughs> I go sleepy now. Thanks, dog. I was going to have a good night. Place commercial here. I was going to have a good night, man. I was going to watch the game, eat some nachos, maybe get some kettle corn, catch a movie later. 
Instead, I'm going to be kissing the, the pavement if I'm not dead. Wake up with the pavement taste in my mouth. You're going to be spitting loogies on the floor and everything. You don't want to be down there. <laughs> Get your ass over here. I don't think it pays to be aggressive in these fights. The people who attack, 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 attack typically lose. The pattern of whoever's up front, you know, leading the match early on loses, has not held. Like this round, it, like they, that, that's not been true. But what has been true, the, the more aggressive person loses every time. And right now, Sasuke is a more aggressive person. Playing defense wins you these things. Just like in chess. Attacking doesn't win chess. Playing defense wins chess. I mean, at some point you go on the offensive, but that's after your defense has crushed their forces, you know? Damn, man. Not the knee to the nuts. He's going to need those. Uh, it's all genetic, man. It's not just like, you know, he was born with this skill. I guess I'm going to have to pull out my gourd on you. <laughs> He's fine. You only got one move, man. Yeah. You only got one move. You play with sand. Sand ain't gonna be enough this time. <laughs> See, it's called skill. It's called uh, sensei skill. You know how they say show don't tell? They're telling, not showing. Because they kept him in the sidelines, kept the camera off him for an entire month. So now you have to tell what you did. So all three of them are standing. None of you assholes are sitting down right now. Those people in those $500 seats behind you should get up and kick your ass. Sit your asses down. <laughs> that shit was awesome. Yeah, but you got more than that, though. Yeah. Just brings you closer to the win, that's all. Then he'll use his own innate skills to cross the finish line. Besides, I feel like it, I don't think it was a slam dunk. I think Lee just was unlucky to a certain extent. I think if Lee and Gara fought 10 times, each one would win five times. Maybe I'm being naive. But I think, I, I think it was closer than they're giving him credit for. He could be getting disemboweled out there right now. Aren't you going to go watch? I like the fact that the fact that he's not. Any other circumstance, he would be watching. The fact that he's not is very interesting. He's like, that's how shaken he is. It's very interesting. Yeah, he's nuts, I tell you. Why don't you just play hockey, man? You get to physically abuse people every day and, you know, you score points and make a lot of money. Too late. 
Game on, man. <laughs> it's a trick. You're going to burrow a hole out of there, right? Oh, shit. The sand porcupine defense. Oh, shit. Kind of a bitch move, turn into a sand porcupine. We got a bleeder. Sooner or later, he's got to come out of there. How long can he hold that, though? I'm just waiting about, man. He can't hold it forever. Great. Now we're going to have another person standing in front of our line of sight. Two more people. Denied. <laughs> Once you get closer, it's just screaming across 27 people. <laughs> what if Sasuke is better than him? Yep, he's definitely scheming something. Oh, shit, look at that. We got a sand eclipse. He likes to summon those eyeballs, don't he? <laughs> Idiot. We had a plan, damn it. Never gonna happen, kid. <laughs> I like the little eyes just floating up there. <laughs> Good shit. Now that's entertainment. <laughs> I forgot to predict what I think is going to happen here. I talked about, it, like, you still don't know what they're doing with Sasuke. Maybe we could take it at face value. I don't think so. But prediction-wise, I think Sasuke's going to win. I think it's pretty obvious, right? And not even so that he, you know, gets a promotion. I think he's going to win because apparently they really want him and Narada to fight each other. That things seem to be going that way, right? So that's the only outcome we can, you know, because we're going to be down to four people left after this. I assume they're going to fight each other. So it'll be Sasuke and Naradu, um, Fangirl, and who's the fourth person? I can't remember. But that's what it's going to be, right? So, yeah, I think he's going to win. But it's not going to be easy. I think it'll be another two episodes at least.